Let's begin our practice. Welcome. Starting in mountain pose, just take your time and just make your way up to a standing position and just continue to prepare for your practice. You might start with a few deep breaths. Yeah. Nice full inhale. An audible exhale. Good. Another full breath in. And a complete release. And then just continue with slow, steady breaths. With this breathing effort. Yeah, just notice how you're feeling at this moment. How you felt coming into class today. And what you're needing from your practice today. We'll be focusing a bit on heart openers, back bends, just a counter position to being folded over, hunched over, sitting at a desk perhaps. So just reopening the front side of the body. Continuing with your breath listening to the sound of your breath, feeling your breath, aware of how your body is responding to each inhale, each exhale. This is your opportunity to really tune in, paying attention to the subtle parts of yourself. And as you breathe in fully, feel your breath rising upward to fill your lungs. Just nice opening of the heart space. And with your exhale, draw your belly button in towards your spine, that light contraction of your abdominal muscles. Here we engage the abdominal lock. Again, a nice full breath in, lengthening through the spine as breath rises, filling up the lungs, opening your heart. Exhale, connecting to your center, drawing belly in. And just continue with those breaths, that style of breathing. Let's take three more breaths, using these breaths to prepare your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead and treat it like a nice stretch. So reach all the way up and exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, bend your knees as much as you need to, and just carefully and slowly guide your way down towards your toes. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or your knees or even your thighs. We're going to hold here on the exhale, so pausing in this half forward fold. So again, your hands might be resting lightly on your shins or thighs. Make sure your feet feel rooted into the earth, this grounding sensation. You can keep a good bend in the knees, feeling the engaged legs. Continue to feel the elongation through your torso, long spine. And then finish our standing process, shifting your weight back into your heels, bend your knees to lower your hips and start to rise up. We'll inhale to extend the arms up into the air, good reach. Then exhale, you can bring your hands down to your heart or arms down to your side, either one. Just pause for a moment, taking a breath. Continuing with our half salute. Inhale, extend the arms into the air, feel the lengthening through the sides of your body, nice stretch. Exhale, fold forward. Always okay to bend your knees as you make your way down. Feel your belly come towards your thighs, releasing head, neck, and shoulders at the end. Maybe you can peek between your knees towards the wall behind you. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees. Now you can hold here on the exhale or fold back down towards toes. You could be a partial fold or go all the way down. Now if you go all the way down, just feel that heaviness in the body. Ah, that nice release, allowing gravity to draw you downward, perhaps through your arms, through the top of your head. And with these, this 
posture, noticing the sensations in your body, that stretch in the hamstrings, elongation through the spine, the curvature of the spine. Yeah, add movement if it feels good to you here. For example, you might circle your shoulders, circle them backward a few times and then forward. Even circles like you were stirring a pot of soup. Nodding yes a few times, just getting into the neck and shoulders and upper back, shaking your head no. Then from here, we'll stand up all the way. We'll start by shifting the weight back into the heels, bend your knees to lower your hips, start lifting the chest, then inhale, extend your arms out and all the way up. Even a little pause here at the top to draw that straight line. And then exhale, arms down to your side or hands to your heart. Just returning to our mountain pose. Take a breath or two here. Again, go ahead and circle the shoulders. Part of our work today, even though we're opening up through the heart space and creating back bends, we have to have some open shoulders because our arms will be reaching behind us. Okay, let's continue. Inhale, reaching into the air. Nice energy through your hands and fingers. Exhale, leading with heart. Fold forward, soft knees. Make your way down. Take your time. You don't have to rush through any of these transitions. Inhale, let's rise up halfway. Feel the top of your head lead you forward so you feel that fully extended spine. Exhale, let's fold. Bend the knees enough so you can place your hands on the mat out in front of you. Then step or walk or even hop the feet back until you're in plank pose. A strong body, lengthening from head to heel. We'll take a breath in. On the exhale, bend your knees a little to send your hips up into the air as the chest and head sink between the arms. Moving into downward facing dog. That was our shortcut from plank to down dog. And you can do that any time or every time in the practice. If you need to, adjust your feet or adjust your hands on your mat here so you feel like you're solid in your downward facing dog. So we'll hold here. You can add movement to this pose or stay in stillness. Or if you get fatigued, feel free to rest. You can come down to your knees, even sitting back into child's pose. We'll move from here, taking a nice full breath in, filling up your lungs. Exhale, draw belly in, bend your knees, walk, step or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Good, take your time. Inhale, rise up halfway, long spine. Exhale, refold partially or all the way. Then shifting weight into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive. We'll come up, reach high, we'll keep the body in motion. Exhale, take chair pose, sitting back and down into the imaginary seat. You want to feel as if your hips are moving to the back edge of your mat. Weight shift into the hips and heels. We'll breathe in, then exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards your toes, forward fold, yes. Inhale, rising halfway to the flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Find the earth with your hands so you can hop or step or just walk the feet back. Plank pose. Pausing for a moment so you can feel the strength in your plank pose. With your exhale, you can take that same shortcut to down dog if you'd like. Or with the exhale, finish the push-up. Bend the elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs to lower your body. This is our first back bend. It might be cobra or upward facing dog. And as we exhale, Tuck toes under and send the hips into the sky. Adjust your feet, adjust your hands, settle into the pose, and we'll add a lunge. Inhale, let's pick up the right foot, extend the right leg back behind you, try to touch the wall behind you with your toes. Exhale, let's step right foot to the top of the mat, so it'll just land behind the right wrist is good. Turn your left heel to the floor behind you. Be sure to put weight into that back foot so your hands feel light, so you can easily hinge from hips with an inhale, rise up. And exhale, it's just full, we'll keep it moving. Let's bring the hands firmly down to the ground. We'll slide the right foot back to meet the other, plank pose. Again, the shortcut to down dog is appropriate here. We're moving through the full vinyasa. You can even modify by bringing the knees to the floor first, then chest, cobra or up dog for your back bend, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. 
Other side when you're ready. Inhale, extending left leg into the air, reaching for the back wall. Good. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Firm connection to the earth. Right heel also making connection to the earth behind you. Shifting the weight back so you have light hands rising up. First warrior. Nice opening of the heart. Exhale, hinge and fold. Hands return to the ground. Slide left foot back. There's our plank pose and complete the series as you'd like. Modify the flow if you need to. Skip parts, even hold parts, or add poses as you flow through to downward facing dog. Let's move to the ground. So gently kneel down, sit back briefly in hero. We'll sit off to the side and swing the legs around to the front Maybe scoot forward a little bit so you're sitting in the center of your mat. Go ahead and roll down onto your back. Draw the knees in. A little hugging sensation. Even add some movement like rocking back and forth or forward and back. A little massage for the back body. Maybe your hips. We're gonna start with a twist. So just a gentle spinal twist. We'll send both knees over towards the left side of the room while your right arm reaches to the right side of the room. So the twist starting to get into the hips, the sides of the body, and the low back. So we want to open up parts of the body before we start engaging in more dynamic back bends. So a few breaths here. Perhaps two more on this first side. When you're ready, carefully and slowly, just return to center. We'll pause and center, just allowing the spine to realign, lengthen. And then we'll go ahead and slowly take the knees over to the right side and extend your left arm out to the left side of the room. Just a gentle rotation. Again, just the intention of beginning to open up the body, preparing for more heart openers. We'll take two more breaths. And we'll return to center. We're going to rise back up to seated so you can rock forward and back to rise up to seated or just again just roll to one side and press yourself up to seated. We'll come to boat pose. So lots of variations of boat as you know. Mainly you want to have an extended spine. Nice and tall. We are leaning back so we have that angled body. We are breathing deeply so breathing in to fill the lungs. You might even exhale through the mouth so you can feel the air leave your belly so you can feel that abdominal contraction. Heels can stay on the floor, or you might lean back far enough to lift the feet. Knees can remain bent, or you might extend the legs. Do acti activate the feet. You can flex the feet or point your toes. And let's move from here. Breathe in as if you're lifting up. Exhale, cross legs. Hands in front of the cross legs or even to the side so you can swing or step or hop the feet back into plank pose. Nice strong straight line. We'll take a shortcut together to downward facing dog. Hips rise, chest sinks, adjust the feet and hands. Add on to our lunge sequence. We'll inhale, extend right leg up. Hold for a moment, feel this nice extension. Since, since we introduced a twist on the floor, let's add a twist here. So bend your right knee, bring your heel down towards backside, lifting the knee slightly up towards the ceiling. Now it is a hip opener towards the right side of the room, but you're also kind of twisting through the spine and hip towards the right side. Good, let's breathe in and the exhale to unwind and step through. Back up to the top of the mat, landing there. Left heel to the earth behind you, ready for warrior one. Find your center, inhale, rise, and exhale opening to the left side of the room for warrior two. Good, nice adjustment of the feet. Really just kind of a natural thing to do here to feel settled balanced. Let's follow the right hand forward 
to angle the upper half of the body and we'll rotate here. We'll start with the hands just reaching up and down. So we have that experience of opening up through the heart space and through the hips. And then start to reach over your head through, with the left hand. So the left arm maybe comes closer towards the left ear. Meanwhile, the left foot just presses more firmly into the ground. So we're getting that lengthening effect through the left side of the body. Still preparing for more back bends. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll carefully turn and fold. Yes, bring hands to the floor. Slide right foot back. There's plank pose. Pause for a moment for that realignment. And then just take another shortcut to down dog. Just soften the knees, send your hips into the air, and make your adjustments with the feet and hands. Same thing, other side. So inhale, extend left leg up, reach, hold, feel the body get long, and then we'll create that twist. Bend the left knee. Heel comes down with the knee while the knee lifts slightly. Feel that twist or a slight turn, perhaps, noticing what's happening in your spine, in your hips. Here we go. Next exhale, unwind and step through. Left foot to the top of the mat, right heel to the earth behind you, root and connect, and then we'll rise up first, warrior. Exhale, opening to the right side of the room. Warrior two, arms come down to parallel. Nice adjustment of the feet, solid ground underneath you. Here comes our side angle pose, reaching out, following the left arm forward. Rotate the arms first, reach high and low. Left hand towards six o'clock, right hand towards 12 o'clock. Opening in the center. And then that extending quality of reaching the right arm towards the front of the room while the right foot presses into the earth. Feel what's perhaps opening and lengthening through the right side of your body. We'll take a breath in and exhale, a careful turn, fold, hands return to the ground, slide left foot back to meet the other. You can still take that shortcut to down dog or complete the full vinyasa. You can certainly modify it. Cobra is still appropriate here for the back bend and exhale downward facing dog. Take a nice full breath in and exhale, walk, step or hop both feet up to the top of the mat. We'll be in forward fold. Uh, let's hold our forward fold for a moment. Just feel that heaviness, the natural curve of the spine. Uh, also preparing us for back bends, right? These counter poses. Now shifting your weight back into your heels, bend your knees. We'll inhale, reverse swan dive. Let's grow tall. Again, that little extra second at the top to feel the full length. Exhale, arms down to your side. Alrighty. Maybe shake things loose, another circle of the shoulders. Let's introduce a balance. Let's do tree pose, because one of the back bends we'll be doing it will be a standing balancing posture. So standing on two feet, mountain pose. Let's soften the knees a bit. Start sending your weight over into your right foot. Nice solid ground. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen spine, get tall. Exhale. Pull belly in, there's our engagement, ready for balance. As we pick up the left foot, flexing the foot, we'll swing the knee out towards the side of the room. It could be at an angle, that's fine. And then placing foot on the inside of your standing leg. And if you're able, maybe you are able to bring foot to inner thigh, and if you need to, just hold on to it. If that doesn't work for the knee, just bring it down low. Okay, perhaps at calf level or even use the floor. Now, inhale, extend the arms up into the sky. Big extension, reach and lift, yeah. Some deep breaths here. Wonderful, we'll keep the arms extended, swing left knee forward now, lifting knee flexed foot. We'll plant the foot into the ground and arms return to your side as you rebalance on two feet and just, again, just kind of shake things out, check in with that right foot, your toes, there you go. And setting up for the other side, rooted two feet, soft knees, and then now shifting weight into left foot. Inhale, nice and tall, fill up the lungs. Exhale, engage at the center, at the belly button, picking up right foot, nice flexed foot there. And we're swinging it open till it naturally stops. Hips are still square, pointing forward or facing forward. Again, maybe if you're able, placing foot on inner thigh. If you can hold it here, there's good pressure here, pressing the foot into the inner thigh, thigh pressing into the foot, okay? 
Nice connection to center. When you're ready, growing tall, inhale. The arms all the way up, energy through hands and fingers. Your focus, if possible, is directly forward. But if you're looking at nothing, like a blank wall, just dart your eyes, not your head, but just drop your eyes down so you have something to focus on. It could be the baseboard or the yoga mat in front of you. Let's keep the arms extended. We'll swing right knee forward now, lifting knee, flexed foot. Good. Plant the foot. Arms come down. Rebalance on two feet. Ah, shake all that loose. Let go of any tension. Walk it out. Circled shoulders. Okay, we'll keep it moving. Here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, take chair pose. We'll just move right through it. Shifting the weight back into hips and heels. Then inhale. Exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards toes, a nice forward fold, but look between the knees towards the wall behind you. Inhale, slide the hands up to the shins, nice extended spine. Exhale, fold again, getting low enough to plant the hands into the ground. Hop or step back into plank pose, come down if you'd like to, Chaturanga Dandasana. Again, a shortcut is fine or a variation of this flow to get you to downward facing dog. We're just moving with breath, moving through this sun salute. When you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up behind you, bend and twist open. There you go, knee lifting, there's that twist in spine and hips. On the next exhale, unwind, step through, back to warrior one, left heel to the earth, rooted, connected, balanced, light hand so you can float up, Exhale, opening and expand into warrior two. Adjust your feet. Once you've done that, side angle pose. Reach out, tip it over, rotate the arms. Continue following the left arm overhead. Reach through your fingertips towards the front wall. Reach, nice stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, a careful return to the earth. Turn, fold, hands to the mat. Slide right foot back. Plank pose. Modify that flow if you need to to get to down dog or go through a full vinyasa. When ready, picking up left foot, extend the left leg back behind you, bend and twist open. Then we'll unwind, send left foot to the top of the mat, right heel to the earth, find that centering, light hands that help you float up. Warrior one, exhale opening, warrior two, adjusting the feet, side angle pose, following the left arm forward. Rotate the arms, follow the right arm overhead, reach through your fingertips towards the front of the room. Really feel the extended side body, and we're still moving. Breathe in, exhale, turn back down to our hands on the floor in front, slide left foot back, finishing your vinyasa. Good. Maybe a breath or two in down dog. And return to the earth. So once again, you can just kneel, sit back, and then off to the side, legs around to the front. Okay, let's move into bridge pose. So again, you wanna have space behind you so you can roll onto the back. Another hug of the knees is good if you'd like. Another massage. Return to the awareness of breath. So check in with your breathing. And then setting up for our bridge pose. We'll set the feet onto the floor. Perfectly fine to keep the knees and feet hip distance apart. You can also take the feet wider than your hips, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. Breathe in, fill up your lungs. Exhale through the mouth, feel the air leave your belly. Yes, feel the engaged core body. Peel hips away from the earth, lifting upward. You may rock the upper body left and right several times because we want to, as best as we can, get the shoulders and arms a bit underneath. So you can really experience that expansion and opening sensation through the chest, opened heart. So it's as if the shoulders were behind the heart. Keep rooting into the earth with the feet, maybe lifting a little higher as you're able feeling the engaged thighs, maybe hip flexors, but underneath you too, hamstrings, glutes. And with the hands or arms, just lay the arms flat on the floor and just notice if you're able to reach your feet at all. 
You don't have to make any changes. You don't have to adjust the pose. Just, just notice where your hands land in relationship to your feet. All right, next movement, just wiggle the toes forward a little bit. Extend both arms up into the air. We're just making space in the low back and the upper back, your shoulders, and then roll your way down to the ground. Once you've landed, let's extend the body, reach both arms behind you, reach, legs out in front, lengthen, straightening the spine. Back to boat pose, so bring both knees in towards chest, carefully rock to rise up to seated, or again, to roll to the side and press up to seated. Boat pose. Finding the variation that works for you best at this moment. Again, the main things are long spine. Breath rising to fill the lungs, engaging core. Active feet. Ready to move, nice breathing in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front. Hopper step back, plank pose, or just swing the feet back, plank pose. Again, we'll just take a shortcut to downward facing dog. Okay, new lunge segment. Inhale, extend right leg up. We'll just keep it straight, just reaching through the toes to the back wall. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat. Let's go to a high lunge now. Left heel stays lifted, but you still need to find that centering so the light, uh, hands are light so we can rise up. Reach up, lunge low. So everything's facing forward, all 10 toes, hips, heart, everything's facing forward. If you feel a little wobbly, okay, means because we're only on the toes back there, so hug the legs in, squeeze towards midline. Let's relax the arms for a moment, okay? <clears throat> Just feeling the stretch in the left hip flexor, because we do want this opening as part of, you know, getting into back bends as well. So let's go ahead and create a back bend with this lunge. So follow me, we're gonna take the arms back up into the air, reach. Imagine you're grabbing a bar up top there and you're gonna pull yourself up to bend the elbows, kind of pull them back behind you. Like you're doing a pull up. Chest feels like it's rising, eyes are tipped up, your head might be tipped up, but we really have created a back bend. We're going to re-extend the arms straight up, look forward, and then fold. Hands back down to the earth, slide right foot back, pause in plank pose. Strong straight line. Mm -hmm. Another shortcut to downward facing dog. Same thing other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, reach. Hold for a moment so you can feel that nicely extended body. And then stepping through on the exhale. High lunge is our setup. Right heel stays lifted. Finding your center. You'll know because your hands are light. You'll rise up. Reach up. Lunge low. This is action of moving down and up. Already feeling that right hip flexor. Nice extension through the sides of the body. Hug to midline. Squeezing inner thighs or the whole, both legs just squeezing in towards center. Let's relax the arms for a moment. You can even shake that out. Still paying attention to the sensation through this back leg. Okay, we're nice and tall. We're already creating a minor back bend. We're, we're gonna create a bit more of a back bend. I call it a lunging back bend. So rising up, reach up, grab your imaginary pull up bar, pull. As you pull down, lift chest up, look up. Elbows come down and slightly behind you. Might even feel some engagement in your back body. Because okay, we want that strength, we want that support as we hold this back bending posture. We'll inhale, re-extend the arms, look forward, and exhale, hinge and fold, hands back down to the ground. Slide left foot back, plank pose. You can take that same shortcut to down dog or finish a full flow. Chaturanga, modified if you'd like. Keeping a minor back bend. Cobra or Sphinx. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take advantage of the down dog. You want a nice long torso. So I might suggest bending the knees a little bit and try to send your hips up and back as the hands press or root deeper into the earth. You're just creating a little bit more of that lengthening. Very good. 
shift your body slowly back out to plank pose. Okay. We're going to set the right knee onto the floor directly underneath the hip. You're going to swing the right foot off to the right side, creating a kickstand. We're going to side plank. So we're going to open up towards the left side of the room by taking the left hand up into the air. And just hold for a moment. Vashistasana, variation of the pose since we have the knee on the ground. I think it kind of mimics tree pose because we have that knee bending and a nice hip opening at the same time. Follow left hand overhead, reaching towards the front wall. And if, if you'd like, just an option at this moment, flexing the left foot, that leg behind you, and maybe lifting the foot if you're able, even if it's just for a quick moment. And just feel this lengthening through the left side of the body. Breathe in. As we exhale, you might set the left foot down, turn, bring the left hand back down to the floor, left knee to the ground, Right kickstand foot comes back in. Cat cow. Inhale, look up or forward. Arch the back. That's a back bend. Exhale, round it out into cat. You might even hold cat because this might feel good as a counter pose. Inhale, cow, back bend. Exhale, cat, round. Do one more. When you're complete, come back just to a neutral tabletop position. So you're not rounded, not arched, but straight as can be here. And we'll do the other side. We'll just swing the left foot off to the side. Lean to the left so you can free the right leg and extend the leg back. Open up to the right side of the room. Right hand reaching into the air initially. So you can just feel this opening of the front body. Imagine you're wearing a belt and your belt buckle is pushing forward towards the wall that you're facing while the upper back and the back of your head are leaning back into an imaginary wall. Yes. <clears throat> right arm now reaching overhead, fingertips reaching towards this front wall, flexing the right foot, maybe lifting the foot as you're able, extending in these opposite directions. Here we go, breathing in, and the exhale to return to the earth. Right foot, right hand, right knee. Bring left kickstand back in, maybe two breaths, cat cow, two or three, whatever you need right there. Just for realignment, keeping this nice mobility and opening. When you're complete, once again, a pause in this tabletop posture. You'll tuck toes, lift knees, maybe with an exhale, send hips into the air, chest sinks between the arms, down dog. Nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, step or hop both feet up to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, extend through spine. Exhale, fold again. Perhaps if you're able, complete release. Look between the knees. Shift weight into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up, reach high. We're gonna keep this moving. On the exhale, bring the arms out and down slowly, and then just reach back behind you. Reach, I talked about having the arms behind us, especially when we do back bends, yeah? So really feeling that sensation of the shoulders being behind the heart here. Active hands, just open up the fingers, even feel like you're holding on to something behind you. Okay, stay where you are because you really are doing that once we get into, like when we get into bridge pose. Now I could just stay flat. This is kind of flat for my upper body, but if I try to mimic what you're doing now, I'm just getting my arms uh, behind my heart and reach. Okay. From where you are, inhale, extend the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, monkey pose, that's our halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna go through that same high lunge sequence with the back bend. Inhale, extend right leg up, straight line. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge, left heel stays lifted, finding your center. Float the arms up, hold. Good, nice reaching up, lunging low sensation. Okay, reach a little higher, grab your pull-up bar, pull down as heart lifts, look up. Feel the 
shoulder blades or the muscles in your back body, squeeze, engage, legs, same thing, squeeze to midline. There's our back bend. Let's free it up. Inhale, reach up, look forward. Exhale, open warrior two here. Ah, Side angle, reach out, tip it over, follow left arm overhead, reach, nicely extended, still moving, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, slide right foot back, plank pose, stay in plank. We're gonna return to that side plank. Start by setting the right knee onto the floor. Make the kick stand, opening up to left side, perfect. Remember, you're wearing a belt, push your belt buckle forward, upper back and the back of your head. Lean back into an imaginary wall. Extend the left arm overhead, reach, flexing left foot, lift. Let's create a back bend here. Can you bend your left knee? Bring your foot behind you. Take your left arm behind you. Again, that, trying to get the shoulder behind the heart. No worries if you can't reach the foot. Just reach behind you, catch the air. Maybe you can just touch the foot if you can't grab it, yeah? Same thing, still pushing belt buckle forward. Belly really expands. Lean back with the back of your head. Then we'll slowly release, re-extending the leg and the arm overhead. Turn carefully, return to the earth. Left hand, left foot, and knee. Right kick stem comes back in, neutralizing the body, cat and cow. We're gonna take a little breather here after the second cat cow breath. Take child's pose. So you might take the knees a little wider Sitting back, that it might just provide a little bit more space as you sit back. But make this an active pose at the beginning, meaning just feel the hips reach back. They don't have to reach your heels necessarily, but they're reaching towards the back edge of your mat or the back wall, or your arms are reaching for like you're trying to crawl forward. So you get, yeah, so you get that length. Okay, there's a slight, for some of you, you might feel a light uh, curve in the spine, that's perfect. And then you can soften. After you feel the engage lengthening, you then soften for a few more breaths. And we're going to get ready for the sequence on the other side. One more breath right where you are. And then slowly return to hands and knees. If the knees went wide, just bring them back in perhaps. Tuck toes and just continue your movement to downward facing dog. Ready for our high lunge sequence with the back bend. Inhale, extend left leg up, reach. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Shifting the weight back. Light hands rising up, reach up, lunge low. That's it, okay. We're reaching up a little higher so you can grab your pull-up bar, pull down. Heart lifts, look up, squeezing behind you. Elbows kind of come down and kind of back. Inner thighs, squeeze towards midline, engage. That's your support for this back bend. Free it up, inhale, reach high, look forward. Turn and open warrior two. Pivot of the heel to the ground, adjust the feet side angle, reach out, tip it over, rotate the arms, right hand reaching overhead towards front wall. Lengthening, inhale, exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, back to plank pose, pausing. And then we'll set the left knee onto the ground, swing that foot out for a kickstand, Vashistasana on the other side, yes? Right arm straight up into the air. Mm -hmm. Belt buckle pushing forward, upper back and back of the head leaning back. Right arm reaching overhead towards this front wall, flex right foot and lift, continuing this extension. And as you're able, create a back bend by bending the right knee, reach back. Now what you may need to do is actually Bend the knee and bring it in towards your chest or belly. That might allow you to reach your ankle and, or foot and then kick it back behind you. Yes. Knowing that you're feeling the opening of the hip, belly expands, head is just leaning back. Beautiful. Slowly release, re-extend the leg and arm, and then a careful turn, return to the earth. Hands and knees, cat cow.
We're going to sit back to, again, just briefly into hero, just to free the hands, okay? Because we're actually going to rise up onto the knees. Just follow me. You do want the knees underneath you, not wide, okay? Underneath you like so. <clears throat> we want to activate the thighs, just like I had you in bridge pose. And this pose really resembles bridge pose, okay? You want to feel the hips and hip flexors and thighs lift in bridge. But in this case, you're pushing forward, okay? So you can activate. So you can really feel that alignment of hips over knees. Nice activation here. We're going to support the back. Use your hands. It could be your palms like so, or thumbs. I typically use my fists. Two actions here. You're going to push down and forward. Down and forward. That's happening together simultaneously. Down, forward, down, forward, down, forward. Okay, down is to keep space where my thumbs are across the belt line. Forward so you keep the engaged hip flexors and knees over, or sorry, hips over knees. Now you're going to inhale to push down and lift up through the torso. Exhale, push forward and just lean back a little. And this could be the end of your supported bridge pose. Now my feet are flat. You can keep your feet flat. If you need a little extra support or just a change in the feet, tuck the toes under. If you can go a little deeper, Inhale, we're still pushing down, lengthening through torso, trying to rise up. Exhale, push forward and gently lean back. Camel pose variation, two more breaths. We're gonna do a second version of this in a moment, but let's come out of the pose. Okay, just kind of come out, come forward, feel the hips sit back, hands out front, catch yourself here, hands and knees, but return to child's pose. Again, active hips reaching towards your heels or back edge of the mat, arms extending out front. So you can feel the counter effect of that back bend. In a moment, we're just going to do camel pose, ustrasana, ustrasana is the Sanskrit of camel pose. We can do the same version, but I'll show you another version. Two more breaths. Carefully make your way back up, perhaps starting moving through hands and knees, and then child's, I'm sorry, then hero pose. So hero here. So you can follow me or just watch me first, either one, okay? Because I'm going to lift up, I am going to tuck toes, and then sit back. Because I want to be able to reach my heels with my hands. Now when I rise back up, I'll, I'll probably just barely be touching my heels with my fingers, okay? So you can watch her go ahead and do it with me. I'm going to already start the, to roll the shoulders back because I want to feel like I'm being lifted through my sternum here. So when the inhale, lift up, just pause. Exhale, send my belt buckle forward. Inhale, I'm still rising up. Exhale, sending pelvis forward. Again, my fingers are just touching the heels. I'm trying to align my hips over the knees. Here's my back bend. Okay. So if you're just now doing it, shoulders roll back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push. Inhale, rise. Exhale, move forward. If this is too much and you need support, place those hands on the low back. Push down as you lift up. Make space. Two more breaths wherever you are. If you're touching the heels to come out of the pose, I would suggest just sitting back, getting out of that posture, once again, let's just come to hands and knees for cat cow for our uh, relief. Maybe holding cat. Uh, so you can feel that counter movement. Inhale for cow. Exhale cat. You might even just take a full inhale and exhale in cat so you can get that nice roundedness in the spine for the relief. Good. Maybe do that one more time. Cow to cat pose. And then from cat pose, move to dog pose. So tuck your toes, lift your knees, send your hips into the air. And again, we want that nice re-extension of spine. Bend your knees a little, send your hips up a little higher if possible. Hands press more firmly into the ground. Okay, we're going back to standing. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend knees, hop or step forward to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through spine, halfway lift. 
exhale, fold. Same weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse swan dive, coming up, reaching high, and exhale, arms down to your side. So let's introduce the back bend that's standing on one foot. It's dancer pose or, or standing, one-legged standing bow pose. Okay, that's why we did tree so we can practice standing on one foot. All right, so follow me as we get into dancer pose. I'm gonna break it down. So mountain pose together, soft knees, we'll balance on the right foot so plant that right foot into the ground. I'm gonna turn this way. You're gonna kick your left foot back. Let's take the left hand Okay, and turn the palm out like so. And when you turn the palm out, your shoulder rotates back. Again, we're getting that sensation of opening the shoulder and chest, getting the shoulder behind the heart. As you're able, we're catching the inside edge of the foot. And if that leg pulled away, that's fine. We're just gonna hug or squeeze it back towards midline. Extend your right arm into the air. This essentially could be the end of your pose. But if we wanna go further, we're gonna bend the right knee. You're essentially going down. We're gonna tip over a little bit like you're pouring water out of a tea kettle, and then extend, reach out with the right hand as the left foot starts to reach to the back wall. A little bit is fine, you can stay here or go one more time. Bend the knee, go down, tip, and extend. With the extension, you might start to reach up, look up, lifting that back foot, which creates the back bend. We're gonna rise back up, squeeze inner thighs towards center, releasing left foot to the floor, both arms up into the air so we have a nice realignment through the body, arms down to your side. Ah, shake all that loose, good, okay? You can stop at any point with that back bend. It might just be here, maybe you're just practicing the balance, okay? Or maybe you're going for that full ah, back bend dancer pose. Okay, other side. Soft knees, shifting weight into the left foot. Kick the right foot back, right arm out to the side is our outer rotation. Shoulder behind the heart, reach back. If you can, catch inside edge of the foot. Hug everything to midline. Left arm reaching into the air. Again, this could be the end of the pose. Bending the left knee to go down. Tip the tea kettle, extend. Stay there or Bend, go down, tip the tea kettle, extend and maybe lift. Rising, squeezing inner thighs towards center, releasing foot to the floor, both arms up, hold for a second. Be a little side stretch there, a little bend, yeah. We're gonna keep it moving on the exhale, swan dive. Well done. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Here's a back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. One more quick lunge sequence. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. We'll just go back to the original one. There's our twist, unwind, step through. Right foot to the top, left heel to the earth behind you. Centering and balancing. Rise up, exhale, warrior two. Side angle, reach. Rotate the arms, follow left arm overhead, reach. Nice extension, yeah. Inhale. Exhale, return to the earth, hands down. Step back, plank pose. Come on down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog or cobra or something in between. Downward facing, love it. Go at your own pace, modify as needed. Inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist open. Unwind to step through. Left foot lands, right heel to the earth, finding your center. When you're ready, float the arms up. Our opening to warrior two, side angle. Follow right arm overhead, reach through the fingertips towards the front wall. Breathing in for the length, and the exhale to move. Here we go, turning, hands to the earth, slide left foot back, plank pose, complete the series as you'd like. Maybe one last chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing. I'm gonna return to the ground. 
So you can kneel down to take a seat. Once again, rolling down onto your back. Hug the knees in. Let me add some more movements for the massage of the back body. Now we'll move into an inverted pose. Simply, you can just extend the legs straight up into the air while you're lying flat on the ground, or plant the feet into the ground, lift the hips and slide a block underneath you if you happen to have a block, and then, then extend the legs. Or you can certainly move into a shoulder stand. So some options for the inverted pose. I'm opting to sit on the block with the extended legs. If you happen to be in a shoulder stand, you can move into plow by setting the feet overhead down towards the floor behind your head. You can even bend the knees significantly and bring knees down towards forehead instead. Or do that first and then extend the legs. If that's just an option, and if you try it out, you can always just immediately come out of the pose. And really, if you think about it, shoulder, or sorry, plow pose is a forward fold. You just happen to be upside down. Two more breaths, wherever you are. Okay, we're gonna bring the feet back down to the floor. Move into bridge. Now, it, it could also just be a supported bridge. If you're sitting on a block or a cushion, just stay seated, okay? And just have feet on the floor so there's kind of a natural uh, opening of the front body without a lot of engagement. Or you certainly could just lift the hips into the bridge pose and just feel the activation. Not here long because we're going to do one more back bend. We're going to move into fish pose. So if you are on a block, lift hips so you can move your block out from underneath you. Return to the earth and everyone come back down to the earth. Extend the legs out in front of you, straight as can be, and even point your toes. You can even pause on that part because first we want to get the arms underneath us. So you might roll to one side, get the arm underneath you. It's a straight arm. Again, we're trying to get the shoulder underneath the heart in this case. Palms will be down. Palms will be touching the ground. You do both sides. So you're lying on top of straight arms, palms down. Then you can extend the legs and point your toes to activate the legs and feet. Push into the earth with your elbows to lift your upper body like you're rising up out of bed perhaps, arch your back, and as you're able, tip the head back so you can see the wall behind you, it should be upside down. Now you can just hover here, or if you're able, gently, very lightly, place the top of your head on the ground. There shouldn't be a lot of weight at all. The pressure is in the earth with your elbows, so you can stay propped up. Arch the back to open the heart space. You're elongating through the legs, so we're creating enough space in that low back area. Two more breaths in fish pose. To come out of the posture, we're lifting the head off the floor, tuck chin in towards chest, lie down, then release the arms out from underneath you and just briefly soften into Shavasana. We're just gonna do one more twist Bend the knees, plant the feet, but take the feet wide, right out to the edges of your mat. We'll do a windshield wiper twist. So with the feet wide, gently take both knees towards the left side of the room and just notice what's happening in the hips, maybe your low back. We'll just take several breaths here. Now, if this doesn't feel quite right or it's not exactly what you're needing for your twist, choose a different twist. You can go back to the, the one we did at the beginning of practice just spinal twist where the legs are stacked. Two more breaths on this first side. And of course, you can just stay here longer if you need more time on this first side. 
whenever you're ready, we're coming back up to center, pausing for a moment for the realignment. And then the other side when you're ready. Maybe the windshield wiper twist, or maybe if you need to, change it up. Wonderful. Two more breaths. When you're complete, carefully return to center. Now you can stay here for your Shavasana. Sometimes this is a little bit more comfortable lying on your back, but with knees bent, feet on the floor, or extend the legs out in front of you for Shavasana, or choose any other restorative pose that would be the most comfortable for you. Wherever you are, you wanna be able to soften completely, relax, disengage the muscles of the body. Return to the awareness of your breath. With this awareness, take five slow, steady breaths. Just as you did at the beginning of your practice, tuning in to how you feel. Notice. Be more aware. Having engaged in a practice full of back bends or heart openers, a counterposition to our typical way of being, standing, forward folding, sitting. Opening the front side of your body perhaps even finding greater mobility through your spine. As you continue to breathe in and out, feel movement return to your body. When you're ready, carefully and slowly roll to one side of your body. A brief pause in this nurturing pose. And still moving as slowly as you can, just guide your way up to seated. Sitting proudly the lengthened spine as tall as you can. And then just one more movement together. Inhale, extend your arms out and up. And exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. Taking one more breath here into your heart space. 
And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow, saying, Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.